All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Gaming in Progress. I'm Ogre, and I'm finally back recording videos. Um, first thing you're probably going to notice here is I don't have a face cam, and that's obviously because um, with my desktop, it didn't come built in. Like, the case didn't have a built-in USB card reader. I mean, not a USB card reader, an SD card reader, so I was very disappointed about that. So... That means you know, I can't really uh, use my face cam. Um, so I'm going to be getting a uh, SD card reader soon. But uh, I don't have one right now. So this is uh, a gaming rig actually. This 2K cable. Just surprising but you know then again it's an alpha so I guess it's not supposed to be well optimized hi what are you doing what are you doing in my swamp okay you're you're just gonna take my son okay okay then bro I mean I guess it might just be the old opening cinematic that it's going to be in that low of frames um, no I'm about 40 right now. Well, at least I'm like steady at 40 rather than just like dropping. Like it's constantly at 40. So I may have accidentally set my settings of fraps to 40. I don't, I don't know. Um, hmm. It's too much motion blur for one thing. I'm not, I'm not happy with the amount of motion blur that's going on. So, yeah. Um, I actually don't like motion blur at all. So, we're going to go ahead and turn that down. Uh, motion blur. Just make that off. Disabled. Anti-aliasing. Probably. Because I, I am running this on a 2K monitor. So, I don't really need that much anti-aliasing. Depth of field. Don't like that. So, I'll turn it off. That's probably what's messing... A lot with the frame rate. Um, sunshine occlusion, I don't really give a shit about that. Okay. And helped a little bit. So, yeah, if you guys can, uh, can tell, I have a Yeti Blue microphone, so my voice quality should be up quite a bit. Yeah, okay, we're at 60 now. And okay. Okay, so we're not going to achieve 60 frames a second constant with this uh, playthrough because I have no idea what the optimal settings are for this game but it's going to be around 40 which is going to be you know well playable and I did I just collect seeds yeah so I could have used my webcam for a uh, face cam, but I didn't feel like using OBS. Um, the reason why I use Fraps is because I like good video quality. Fraps pretty much records in lossless codec. Which, I mean, I, I guess it really doesn't make that much of a difference for YouTube videos, but it makes a difference for me. I like recording in be the best uh, video I can. I mean, this is already a huge upgrade from my laptop. Like, a huge, huge... Uh, like, I spent, like, fucking 1500 on this computer. And I've actually had nothing but problems with it recently. It's because I... Okay, so I went to install the hard drive, which... Uh, okay, at first, I got a hard drive that was dead on arrival. It wouldn't fucking partition to Windows at all. So, I had to send that back to Seagate. You know, which... At which point, Aries on this channel yelled at me for saying, "Oh, what? Of course, you know, it fucked up. You uh, ordered from Seagate." And it's like, it doesn't really matter. It's only like a fucking 15% uh, failure rate, anyways. So, I'm like, I, you know, I, I can afford. I mean, I, I'm not doing YouTube as my job. I'm doing it as like a fun little hobby. So, I'm like, I'm not going to worry about. It's like if I have a hard drive right away. I had an SSD, you know, which is good enough to play games. 
so. Yeah, I, I just couldn't record. I'm like, I, I don't care if it takes an extra week for uh, to get my uh, hard drive in. So I contacted Seagate because Superbiz was a fucking shitty website when all their customer uh, support was fucking outsourced to Mexico, and I just didn't want to fucking deal with that. Um, open survival book. I'm cutting down a tree, and I don't even know what I want to fucking build right now. Ah, uh, and it... Hmm. Yeah, I should probably, now that I've built, I should probably, I mean, now that I've um, gotten all my stuff, I should probably just find a spot on the coast to uh, settle down at. I, I'm actually not familiar with this area at all, to be honest. Oh, there's a bunny. Oh. Try to kill that. But yeah, um, I finally got my hard drive and got it partitioned to Windows. It's a three terabyte hard drive, which is why I... I'm okay with using fraps because I could record for probably like hours upon hours on end and not have to worry about anything ever. So, but when I went to install the hard drive, you know, because I've, you know, it's the first computer I built and I had a friend help me like build the main uh, rig. Like I wasn't really quite, I mean, I knew what I was doing, but I wasn't quite proficient at it. And what wound up happening is I unplugged the SSD from the SATA, like slightly unplugged it from the SATA cable. And then, you know, all hell broke loose. Um, I went to boot up my PC and, you know, because it was slightly unplugged from the SATA cable, it wouldn't read it. So, you know, I, I figured, okay, it's, something's probably unplugged. So I went to go and plug it back in and went to boot. And, you know, my fucking Windows got corrupted. I'm like, okay, okay, you know, it's, it's it's whatever, it's whatever. So I went to reset Windows, because you can do that on Windows 10. You can hit reset Windows, and it'll just reinstall from the files that already has uh, Windows and just completely wipe your PC. Because my like my computer crashed, and automatic repair wouldn't do, fix it. And so I did that. And as uh, things went on, like I would install a few programs, and then, you know, restart my computer, and Windows would crash again, and it wouldn't repair itself. Okay, so then I kept resetting it and kept resetting it, and I, what I finally figured out what was probably happening was, um, uh, how do I get to my inventory? Okay, I need to drink something. I accidentally drank alcohol, but whatever. Um, so what I figured what was uh, happening is when the SATA cable was only slightly plugged into my, uh, well, what? I just saw another, I'm trying to avoid these villages here, because I don't want to build right in fucking next to the, uh, Cannibals. I don't want to die day one. <laughs> Anyways, I keep getting off track with the story. So what I figured is that probably corrupted the hell out of Windows, and I've I've walked in a circle. I've literally just fucking walked in a circle. Okay. So we're just gonna go along the beach here. So what I uh, think what I thought happened was, and I'm probably right, it corrupted Windows. So resetting it like did nothing for me. Like, I kept having to fucking repair, so what I just wound up doing, I finally wound up just freshly reinstalling um, Windows 10 from the USB, and finally, finally, I got a stable working version of Windows. So, after that, everything's working good. I have my editing software on here. I have a few games, and I also used up, like, 90% of my data cap for the month just trying to get everything to work right. So, I mean... Yeah, it was kind of shitty, but, you know, it's whatever. I got a working PC that's capable of, like, fucking hardcore fucking gaming. So I am I am beyond happy with that. I can max Far Cry 4 at uh, 2K. I mean, max it, like, all set, like, no holds bars. And I look like, whether or not I'll be able to re uh, record at that um, setting and still maintain 60 FPS while recording. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, for those of you interested in my build, I'm using a R9 390 with a uh, Xeon E3 120, uh, 12 or 1230, yeah, 1231 V3 processor. So it's clocked at uh, 4.4 point, 4 gigahertz with turbo boost. Up to, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, comment section, but a turbo boost up to 
3.7, I believe, and because it's a Xeon processor, it is, and like because of the clock speed, it is basically an R9 3, no, no, R9, <laughs> it is basically a 4790 without integrated graphics, so, it, and it's about $100 cheaper than the 4790, so it, it was a good way to save money. Long story short, for the foreseeable future, I will be able to max pretty much everything. And die, turtle. I need to make much water. Die. Why won't you die? Oh, whatever. Anyway, so right now, I only have a few games on my computer. I will be installing more tonight. Um, I want... I desperately want to try the Star Wars Battlefront beta, but I don't see that happening. Simply because it's mostly online only. And I'm getting weird frame drops here. Um, okay, game. I'm gonna, just going to chalk that up to you being an alpha. And I'm going to get the hell away from wherever the fuck that guy is going to. Oh! Oh, it's a deer. Okay. I was worried that the... Uh, I was worried that the cannibal was going to come steal my spleen. But yeah, my, my computer's pretty beast right now. I mean, it's no Titan X rendering machine, but I should be able to render, like, 1080p videos. I should be able to render, like, a 10, a 20-minute um, a 1080p video, and it hopefully not take, like, an hour and a half to render that. So that's what I'm aiming for. Because I, I really don't want to start doing, like, the really long episodes of uh, Life is Strange in, uh, you know, 720. Like, I, I fucking love that game, and I want to experience it in its full greatness. So, I really need to find a spot to uh, build a house here. I mean, I guess I'm far enough away from cannibals where I could probably build something, so. Oh, not. Okay, they have really changed this game a lot since I played it, and I, I like what they're doing. So, probably go up here. Probably make this kind of facing the cliff there so it'd be harder harder for cannibals to get in there. And I'll go chop this down. And I'm wearing a white t-shirt. I don't think the original character wore a white t-shirt uh, prior. Uh, so you know that's good. I am mad. Watch me break this. Uh oh. Need to build this before it gets. I get cold and wet. Ah, oh, shit. Whatever. Screw off, weather. Yeah, so that's basically the story. And now I have a working gaming PC. That I spent way too much time and sacrificed too much to get really running. Uh, now what I think of it. Because I've had it for about a week now, and I've been dealing with having to fucking reset Windows, like, every day. Except today. But, like I said, I think I... What? You what, mate? You fucking what? What? How did you... I don't... You, you what? <laughs> I don't even have words. A, a, a lizard crawled out of a tree. What do? <laughs> and I'm starting to get hungry. So yeah, I, I need to finish this up. Then build a fireplace and hopefully cook stuff. Now that I have a bunch of fucking lizards. Okay, 
Um. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna need to eat something beforehand. Um, how many? Okay, I got like two bars, and I can make armor with a lizard skin, so that's good. Um. Now I can make a rope. I know I can make a bow with a stick and rope. Okay, so. Fuck, now it doesn't want to. Okay, yeah, now I'm chopping the tree. Now I need a map of this island because I have no idea where I'm at or where I'm really supposed to be, to be honest. Oh yeah, and on top of uh, corrupting windows with um, the um, issue with my SSD and my hard drive and the SATA cable, I also managed to corrupt windows just by fucking crashing, I mean, maybe not corrupt windows, but corrupt my driver install by constantly crashing Far Cry 4. Because apparently there's an issue with Far Cry 4. If you like alt tab and do something else, like if you pause a game while you're playing it or something, if you do anything that takes resources away from Far Cry 4, so like if you're using Google Chrome and you have like a bunch of tabs open because Google Chrome uses a fuck ton of RAM, um, then it will cause Far Cry 4 to like randomly crash with an AMD card and, I'll, and apparently it'll do it with uh, Nvidia cards. And it was happening all the time and I just chopped it up It's like, okay, the AMD card isn't uh, configured right for Windows 10 because, you know, I figure it's a likely explanation, you know, Windows 10 is a brand new operating system. No, it was just my stupidity and me doing that constantly. It's eventually corrupted my driver installed where everything would only run at like 12 FPS. So I spent an entire day trying to figure that out as well. And once I got that squared away and got Far Cry 4 working again, and after reinstalling Windows, uh, everything with my uh, hard drive happened. But we built this house, this beautiful house that's actually not physically on the ground if you look at it but yes we built this house so I mean that's the small victory at least okay so let's build a fire so we can cook some shit I mean not actually cook shit that would be kind of this gross and disgusting I'm um, gonna we'll put the fire in here that way we can stay warm at night okay and we'll light the fire Open our inventory here. Ah, oh, this looks disgusting. That looks so disgusting and delicious. Um, please tell me that's not a cannibal out there. Oh, shit, they are, they're fucking cannibals. Okay, um... Now... Oh! Okay. You wanna fuck off, mate? I should probably start crafting Molotovs. Because I have a feeling... If I don't have Molotovs, I'm not going to survive tonight. Well, we'll go ahead and save here at least. Oh, s oh! Apparently, I have a save slot from 12:31/1969. That's probably cor corrupted. So I'm going to save here. And should probably build a bed so we can sleep tonight away. Basics of survival? I don't care. Let me build a bed. I need a bed. So let me build one. Okay, that's a boat. You, I, I still don't think you need all those uh, 
items for uh, houseboats. Yeah, though, so. Unless they've changed some things. Uh, they added a stick fence, I see, and a floor hole. Stick hole here. They've actually added a few things that weren't here before. I don't think there were stick markers last time. Or there might have been, I don't know. Definitely wasn't a climbing rope. Skull lamp. Bed. Okay, that's what I need. Before it gets, like, super late. Now, here comes the issue of collecting these before dark. Because the sun is already setting, and I can't seem to figure out how to chop down a fucking sapling. Okay. Good. Fucking chop down, you piece of shit. Okay. Good. Okay, I think I can only carry 10 sticks at a time. So. I mean, this game looks pretty nice running at 1080p. It, it is a real shame I can't run it at 2K. And I probably could if I uh, turned down the settings to medium. I mean, I already had the settings at uh, high. But what's that? Okay, that's a deer. Like, I already had the settings, like, maxed out when I launched the game. But then I turned them up even more, so that was probably my problem. And I'm probably going to have to set it back down to, uh, high, like, high settings again if I want to record at 60 frames a second constantly instead of having it drop down to 40. Fuck, and it is already super dark. I'm going to die, and it is all my fault because I'm negligent. Oh, and, and that doesn't look super fucking obvious, that there's a fire in here, that's... Okay, um, need to craft a rope now. You're... I, I don't have enough for rope. God damn it. Can I break down a Molotov? No, I can't. Welp. I am just here sleeping the night away, I guess. And now it seems that they want war. Go away. Fuck. Why are you not catching on fire, you fuck? Good thing I have medicine. Die, you fuck. Good. Now I can make an effigy. Keep you fucks away from here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll obey Ogre. This is my swamp. Shit, there's another one. Okay, time to build an effigy real quick. And I have no sticks. Um, is there a way to cancel that? Uh... Is there a way to cancel it? Yes, there is. And I'll. Okay. Good. 
Because right now, the bed has ceased to be the priority. What? Okay, so I have to physically take that out of my inventory now. Okay. Oh man, the fire, like the improved fire effects on this game look so nice too. Okay, I, okay, so I need to wash off my blood, but at the same time, I also need to stay warm. So there's that. But I'm going to go wash off my blood anyways. You know, because screw logic and... I mean, I'm just going to assume where it's at. It's summer, so... Being wet in the middle of the night is like the least of my worries. I'm just going to move your body over here. Anyways, I'm going to save and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So if you want to see if Ogre survives the night, make sure to hit that like button straight down into the depths of hell. And I will see you guys in the next episode.